Hi and welcome back. So today I thought I'd talk you through my evening skincare routine. You might have already seen my last video which was my morning skincare routine. If you haven't I'll link that down below in the description box so you can have a watch of that. In that one I talk about um, my skin type and my skin concerns a bit more um, to give you a little bit of background on how these products are helping me. Um, so some of these products I've been using for a really really long time and then some of them are quite new to me. Um, but I'm quite happy with my skin at the moment after my uh, pregnancy and like the postpartum time my skin was kind of a little bit all over the place but now it's finally settled down and I'm quite happy with it so here's what I use. First thing I use is the Body Shop Chamomile Silky Cleansing Oil and I just use this to remove my makeup. Um, it's really really um, affordable, I think it's about 10 or 11 pounds and then every now and then they have like 40% off so I always get a few when they have 40% off so I end up paying like five six pounds for it which is really really good um, value so I just take two pumps of this onto my hand uh, massage it into my skin um, while my skin is still dry and my hands are dry and that really breaks down all of my makeup and then I just rinse that away it's a really good quick and easy way of taking off my makeup Unfortunately, the packaging seems to be leaking. My hands are like covered in oil now. Um, but that always seems to happen. I've had a few bottles of that and they always seem to end up leaking. I don't know what's going on with that, but it might just be because I travelled with it. So yeah, that's how I take my makeup off. And then after that, I go in um, to actually cleanse my skin. And for that, I've been using the Nude Perfect Cleanse Omega Cleansing Jelly, which I also mentioned in my morning skincare routine because I use it then as well. This is really, really nice. I hadn't tried this before. This is my first tube of this, and I just absolutely love it. I think this would definitely be in like my top five cleansers, and it'd be pretty high up there. I mean, saying something is my favorite cleanser is like a big commitment, so I feel like I can't really say that yet, but it's definitely a contender. I just love the texture. It has like a real jelly-ish feel to it. You massage it into your skin, and it very quickly um, loosens into like a nice slippery kind of lightweight oil. So I massage that into my skin. Um, I usually spend a little bit more time massaging my skin in the evening than I do in the morning, a couple of minutes or however much time I have depending on what's going on. I then rinse a washcloth under some warm water, bring it out and then use that to take the cleanser off my face which works really well. I also do some kind of gentle circular motions just to um, exfoliate my skin a little bit. I've recently discovered the Pi um, washcloth and I think I have to say it is my favourite. Before that I was just using the kind of Boots own flannels um, and I still really really like those but um, yeah I think the Pi might be my new favourite. It really, it's still really gentle but it still um, kind of holds the heat and it gives you a little it has a little bit of a texture to it so you do get a slight exfoliation which is really nice for my next step I have a couple of options here and I tend to do one or the other usually I alternate the first one is the Sunday Riley good jeans and the other one is Sunday Riley Luna I love both of these products and you can definitely use them both together at the same time uh, but I find my skin doesn't really need that um, I don't really need either of them every day, so I find using them in this way works best for me. With the Good Jeans, this is a product I've been using for ages, like I can't even tell you how many bottles of this I've been through. Um, it must be into the double digits by now, but it's my all-time favourite skincare product, I just absolutely love it. So I do probably half to three quarters of a pump all over my face and neck, but you can use a bit more or a bit less if you want to. Um, and this is basically a serum that um, exfoliates your skin, it contains lactic acid, um, so it's really like brightening, it's really fantastic for pigmentation, which is the main reason I use it. My skin is very, very prone to pigmentation, um, and I got a few breakouts on my forehead and kind of on my cheeks while I was pregnant, so I'm still kind of working on getting rid of that pigmentation, but I find if I use this constantly, um, like I never get that pigmentation, which is really nice. Um, it's also really brightening, it plumps up your skin, it's really hydrating and it basically is a really good all-rounder. So yeah, I use that every other night. So the other product that I alternate with is this one, it's the Luna Sleeping Night Oil, also by Sunday Riley. And I actually hadn't used this in like about a year and a half because you're not allowed to use it while I was pregnant. So obviously I stopped using it just before I got pregnant and um, I've only just started using it again. It's taken me a few months to kind of remember to get round to it uh, but I've just been loving it like I'd forgotten how 
good it is and how much of a difference it makes to your skin, especially if you um, haven't used it in a while, which is nice. So this contains a retinol, which is a really great kind of all-round anti-aging um, ingredient. Um, I only use it every other night and sometimes even less, sometimes just like twice or three times a week, depending on what my skin's doing. Um, it's very nice and moisturising, but it goes into the skin really well. Next, I go in with an eye cream, and for that I've been using the Aurelia Illuminate and Smooth Puff Reduction Eye Cream. And I've been using this one for quite a while now, and I've nearly um, finished it, but I've thoroughly enjoyed using it. I've had a lot of eczema on my eyelids and very kind of dry skin, and this has really been helping like, keep it, the area really nice nice and moisturised and comfortable as well because with the eczema and the dryness they were feeling a little bit itchy. Um, so yeah, I've said this before, I hate packaging because you have to kind of dunk your finger in. I tend to use a, um, a cotton bag to get some out and I just kind of apply it around my eye area but that's really nice and moisturising. Um, next I go in with um, some moisturiser and oil and what I've been doing recently has been mixing two products together and I've been using the Artemis um, Face Oil by Sunday Riley again. Um, this has unfortunately now been discontinued, I believe. Um, so I'm very sad about that. This is my last bottle. Um, so I'll be very sad when this runs out. But I also love their Flora Oil and uh, the Demamiel Oil. So I'll probably go to one of those afterwards. And I've been using this moisturiser. This is the Quarterly Intense Moisture Rescue Cream. And I'm just about to run out of this and I've actually like cut the tube in half so that I can like scribe out the last bits. So that's what it usually looks like. And I've just been using that as like a makeshift lid. But you can get like four or five days worth if you do that and like scoop it out. So why not? Um, but yeah, this is um, a moisturiser for very dry skin. It's quite an intensive one. So what I do, I just put a squirt of that on my hand, mix in about three or four drops of the Artemis with it and then apply it all over my face and neck and kind of take it down to this area. And I find that's a nice way of really like locking uh, all of the moisture into my skin. I then, the last thing I do is I finish up with a bit of lip balm and I use this NYX Rave Jameel lip balm which is really nice for like my dry lips and I have a spot here that gets really, oh I've probably just smudged my lipstick, never mind. Um, a spot here that gets really dry and it's like kind of on my cupid's bow but also above going onto my top lip so I kind of take that over my lip line as well and that really helps keep that kind of dryness in check. I also have this here which is the Jolique Rose Water Balancing Mist um, and I quite like that just to kind of ooh, smells nice. spray on a bit of extra hydration. Um, sometimes I do that after cleanse, sometimes I do it after um, like I've moisturised or in between some of the steps just when I feel like I need a little bit of hydration. I also use it during the day sometimes. It's a really nice kind of refreshing moisturising product. Um, so yeah, those are all of my products that I use in my evening skincare routine. I will um, link all of them down below in the description box as I always do. So you can go have a look at them if you'd like to. Uh, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Um, thank you so much for watching. As always, bye!